Hi, Crazy Ray. Uh, nothing particularly interesting has happened this week, um, except maybe for the big rainstorm that we had on Saturday, um, during which like lightning struck like right outside my building, and I almost had a heart attack because it was so loud. And then um, there was rain pouring in the windows, and there was a puddle of water, and I had to mop it up. And then I had to go and do laundry at a different dorm because uh, the laundry machines here are broken or something. So. Uh, I had to do that, but I already did it, so now I have laundry, and uh, my classes are going pretty well, I've been doing all my assignments, and I have another assignment, which is due next Friday, so I can really work on that some today, and uh, I guess I will um, see you later. I have an interesting question. How many kids do you want to have? Okay, this is kind of interesting. It's been raining a lot. Mushrooms. Okay, we're gonna start you with the basics. First of all, you have electric charges. Charge is just a fundamental property that any object can have. It's like its mass or its color or any of those things. You can have negative charge and you can have positive charge. I just erased part of it. Um, you can have negative charge and positive charge. You can also have zero charge, which is nothing at all. Okay, if the charges are different, then you have this attraction force, and that's, that's the force that's felt um, by the particles. So both of the particles are going to accelerate towards each other um, uh, in this situation. Okay, for the next section we have this situation in which we have a lot of positive charges here and a lot of negative charges here. This will create this uniform electric field in between them. Um, which is like this area in which if you were to put a particle, it would accelerate, you know, depending on its charge, it would accelerate that way or that way, um, anywhere in this area. So that's what an electric field is. Okay, for magnetism, we have this formula for the force on a particle that's a um, negatively charged particle on a magnetic field acting in this direction. It's going to curve. Um, due to that magnetic field if it travels at a velocity. Um, so essentially magnetic fields only affect particles that are charged electrically um, when they're moving, when they're moving. Um, so this formula demonstrates that, that the force on the particle equals the charge times the cross product of the velocity and the magnetic field B. I don't know why they use the word, the letter B, but B is a very important letter. Yeah, that's magnetism in a nutshell. My answer to your question is 30. 30 is the answer. At least for this video.